because Ready. you know Ready. I have to be like I made a commitment, guys. You know. Poor Ellen. Well, we went to the play with her, so that cheered her up some. Is there going to be another exam next week before Christmas break? Yeah, I hope not. I don't think so. We just had one. But it's the end of the semester. Shouldn't there be a final? How do we get our grades? Ha! That's the good thing about magic school. No grades. If you're still here, and the professors aren't breathing demerits down your back, you're doing fine. Anyway, I need to set my schedule for the week. Uh, black magic. Everything else is like solid 24s, man. Yeah. Blue. White. Red or green, Tim? Well, I'd say both. What about studying, though? Uh, forget the green. We need green. All right. Red and study. So I don't want to class him. I want to learn how to play games. All right. Success. Ooh, went up by three. Damn. Fixes objects in place or fuses them shut. Wait, did that just do that twice? Yeah, it did. Weird. Maybe I accidentally pushed something to make it repeat what just happened. Maybe. Success! Wow, they're all going up by three this week. Teleport other. Ooh. We can play pranks now, Tim. We're called together in the gym, and I wonder if Virginia was wrong about there not being any more exams. Good morning, my sprites. As you know, the winter solace is fast approaching at the end of the week. Many of you will be leaving us for the Christmas holiday. Solstice. It's fine. I'm just like, I'm just like, I like that word. That was a Nintendo game. Oh. <laughs> but before that, we must, we have a much to celebrate. If you will each please come up here and reach into this bowl of piece of paper. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> the name will tell you who your secret Santa for. It would be your job to find a gift for that person which you think suits them. Looks like I'm making somebody a present. Oh boy, mushrooms. <laughs> it's like, hey Donald, I got you some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I think of you. <laughs> God. Uh, I'm a bad person. <laughs> uh, I was thinking more like it's a joke gift and maybe he'd think it was funny and I'd be like, I'm broke, I'm sorry. Keep your name secret until after the gifts are delivered next week. I make my way to the stage to draw a name. I'll be Santa for Ellen Middleton. Oh. No. Oh, well, she has everything because she just steals it. What do we get her? Um, um, thieving gear, <laughs> like uh, for sale. like goggles, uh, a cat suit, um, like crampons, so she can like, or like suction cup gloves. I, I don't know. Rope, grappling hooks. We'll get her a grappling hook. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I wonder if Professor Potsdam is playing fair with these selections. Oh well. <laughs> like she arranged it so we have to give it to people we know. That would be convenient. Tap the flow. Draw energy from the other world to recharge mana supply. Nice. Oh, what? We could have used that. Isn't that a little broken? I'm not complaining, Tim. If this is the only way we have to recharge mana, I'm taking it. Huh. Oh, it's like, oh, but every time you do it, you also summon demons because you're pulling it from hell. <laughs> oh, no. And it's now you're being this. chased through the demon, so it's like, uh, uh, teleport other. <laughs> All right, and then like every so often you have to do it again, and then it's like, oh no, I'm out of mana, and so you, then there's two demons, and <laughs> yeah, and it becomes like a, a little race. The race you cannot win. Yeah. All right. Six. 
success. Yeah, they're all successes. We're doing awesome this week. Blast. An explosive force causes damage to the target. May knock back nearby. May knock nearby targets back. I wonder if we could have blown up the wall in the first test with that. Probably. Because that, isn't that what the one girl did? Yeah, but I mean, maybe this is the spell you needed to do it. Maybe. Because to teleport out, you needed. To, I think you get teleported at like 30 blue or something crazy like that. So it was like, you know, your red would have to be this high too. Birdsong. I wake up early in the morning, if this even counts as morning, and it's still dark outside. And I'm not sure why. Was I dreaming? Was there a sound? What was, was there a reason I needed to get up? And then I remember the date. Oh! Is it Christmas? Wait. December 13th? No. No, it's not Christmas. Wake everyone up! I, I don't know what's going on. I hop out of bed and switch on the lights. Two sleepy heads rise, Ooh. blinking from their beds. Oh, actually, we had to give them gifts before they left. Right. Uh, so yeah. maybe, maybe this is impromptu early Christmas. But I thought it was Secret Santa. You're not supposed to just hand it to him. I don't know. I love how they both went like, Wah, like, <laughs> you know, up. They both sleep under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday the 13th. Good luck for everyone. Uh, There's a moment of silence then. Then I have to dodge out of the way if the pillow Virginia throws at me. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for you, it missed. Ellen didn't care. But about my luck. That's selfish. <laughs> it's lucky for you, too, because if you'd hit me, I would have had to hit you back. Weirdo. Oh, I got weird points for doing that. Oh, yeah, because didn't she tell us that Friday the 13th was lucky? Yeah. So, yeah, we were like, we're like, oh, it's, it's the 13th. <laughs> hey, guys, it's the 13th. And they're like, go back to bed. And Ellen's like, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up the pillow and toss it back in Virginia's direction, aiming for her lap, not her head. Here, go back to sleep. I can't sleep now. It's time to get up. So much speaking to do. It is not time to get up. <laughs> we could get an early breakfast. The cafeteria is not even open. Are you sure? No. Well, I'm going. Oh, look at that look. She's like, I'm going. <laughs> Go with her. I totally. Like look. <laughs> Whatever. You want to come, Rain? Sure. Oh, I, I don't even have an option. option. I would have taken it, but still. <laughs> like, that's kind of rude, just making you go. <laughs> yeah. If the cafeteria is not open yet, then at least I can stretch my legs a bit before class. Oh, I failed at studying. No. Looks like we got to take a nap soon. Mm -hmm. Da-da. I guess I couldn't concentrate because I wanted to play games today. So lucky. Run. You can. Of course I did. So, where should we play? It doesn't take much space. We could do it here in the hall. Or I could invite myself into his room. That's kind of intruding. Alone in a bedroom with Damien. Dude, He's no. so dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fine. He's making a choice. The hall's fine. <laughs> Have a seat. I tuck my robes under me and sit on the floor. Damien follows suit with a little more shifting to get his wings out of the way. He pulls out a small wooden box with floral patterns carved across the top. Opening it, he takes out a handful of flat gray pebbles, each slightly wider than a quarter, and sets them on the ground between us. Six pebbles, four of which have flowers painted on them. No, he's turning the others over. All of them have a flower on one side and are blank on the other. The box is still half filled with playing pieces, but these are different. They're little gold and ah, there are little gold and silver ingots, like a pirate like a pirate doll's treasure, and a plump stone figure with a pointy hat. Maybe the correct word is action figure. <laughs> this is a basic set that doesn't ah. use oh <sighs> sorry. This is the basic set that doesn't use buds. It's simple. You gather the stones together, shake and toss. Rolling them like dice. Scatters the pebbles and they come up three blank, three flowered. No points for me, smile face. Then it's your turn. You've got to get five or six of the same kind. Then you win points and you get to throw again. 
So it's just luck? For us it is. Masters play a different game, where the stones can carry into the air for a set time to be adjusted by magic before they fall. But you're not ready for that. Wink. Go on. Rolls the stone. No, he's so right. Fate. He's right that we're not ready for that, but I'm kind of like, <sighs> you have no faith. <laughs> huh. He may not be ready for that either. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> he's like, but you're too stupid. I'm too stupid too. I just don't want her to know I'm trying to look cool. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I toss the pebbles, but get the same result he did. But go on like that. I get lucky and throw two fives in a row, earning two gold and two silver bars. But Damien does the same thing shortly afterwards, and he's the first to throw all six same side up. Yahtzee! <laughs> Eventually we run out of treasure, and as the last to take a piece, I receive the gnome. Now what? We count them up? Now comes the trickier part. We throw the stones again, but now, when you win a hand, you take the treasure from the pile you've won already and put it in either your vault or your bill. Treasure in the vault counts towards winning the game, but treasure on the bill means the other player has to lose twice that value when they make their final tally. Ah, strategy. So what's the gnome for? If you have the gnome, then you lose the final tally. If you lose the final oh, tally. Sorry. If you lose the final tally, you get to roll the stones three more times and steal any treasure you win from the other player. Ah, oh, the, gnome's, the gnome's like a handicap because he did better than we did. Because mm. remember, he w rolled all fives or whatever. Yeah. So Ellen would love this game because then she gets a chance to steal. This has gotten all complicated. This is a very... This is the easy version. I thought you were just trying to be extra condescending. This is the child's version. <laughs> so is this a popular game for wizards? I've never heard of it. He looks away. Well, some people aren't much of a board games. You're a horse, and you're into that sports club. So that's more of a kind of thing people you know. Man, you got all over the place on that one. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. You don't have to roll with it if you want. I mean, I'm just like, usually when I screw up, I'm like, blah, you know, because I get mad at myself. I'm trying not to do that. No, no, no I'm not mad. I'm just like, oh, man, <laughs> these words aren't being friendly to you today, Tim. <laughs> roommates? No. <laughs> you mean my roommates? No, we're not that bad. Oh. Ellen's wild seed like me, so if something comes from the magical world and Virginia isn't interested in it, I'm not likely to hear about it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Is everything all right there? Huh? You would tell me if you were having problems. If someone were... If someone were doing bad things to you. Huh. Sure, but I'm fine play for a while, engrossed in the click of stones against the floor. It's nice to just hang out with someone. Stress up by ten. Our stress didn't even move. That wasn't, that, game. that wasn't relaxing. It got too complicated. Oh. And then the smell of Damien's oh. wings. You know, we don't even know who won. I don't think it matters. Nah. We're like, what were we doing again? We were playing Sorry. a game, right? I don't know. Yes. I'm not using magic on you at all. <laughs> we were going to get some coffee. Yes, coffee. 